uh, believe it or not, the student newspaper was called Concrete then. And there was an advert in it. In, at the beginning of my second year, there was an advert in it um, which invited people to become, if they wished, an associate of the student counselling service. Um, the student counselling service had been set up then by a man called Brian Thorne, who came from... He was previously a counsellor at Keel University, that's right. But he came here actually to set up the counselling service. He wanted to reach out into the community, both of staff and students. And so he invited people to do short courses to become associates of the Student Counselling Service. Now, this was very, very new. Again, I mean, nowadays people think about student counsellors uh, as being perhaps part of the fabric. This, again, was something that was quite extraordinary that this should happen. And it was based on the writings and approach of Carl Rogers, who was an American psychologist, and you may have heard of Rogerian counselling. And that, again, in Britain, was absolutely new. I mean, you know, a few years old at the most. So I was blown away by this because there was something about it that I knew was, it was calling to me in some kind of, or at least it spoke to me in some kind of a way. And so I was on the first associates programme. And this involved things, you know, amazing things like encounter groups. And uh, Brian Thorne wanted to reach out to the various kind of people who were in some kind of caring role within the university. People like resident tutors. And Brian set up groups for these sorts of people all to get together to explore issues and be trained a bit in Rogerian approaches to listening and approaching other people and he invited me to be a representative of the student body in such these these things and th this actually became the most important thing that I did at UEA so much so that as I say I decided to subsequently do postgraduate training in counselling in order myself to be hopefully a university counsellor.